What was the most defining moment of your life, Ken? And it can be more than one, personal, professional, or, or in this case, spiritual or religious, maybe? When I was nine years old mm -hmm. in the town of Innisfail, which is in North Queensland, my parents were involved in bringing missionaries from a group in Australia called the Open Air Campaigners and bringing them uh, into this town to do a missionary outreach for children. Okay. And during that missionary program that I attended, the missionary had a challenge for those who wanted to be a missionary for the Lord and go wherever the Lord wanted them to go mm -hmm. and do whatever He wanted them to do. And I went forward at that meeting to be a missionary for the Lord and to do whatever He wanted me to do and go wherever He wanted me to go. I didn't know that it would mean living in Kentucky eventually, mm -hmm. uh, but that's when I really surrendered uh, to, to God and said, I want to be a missionary for you. It's interesting wow. that many, many years later, in fact, I didn't even know this till long after we were married, uh, my wife, she didn't grow up in a, in a Christian family, mm -hmm. but her parents sent her to Sunday school. And when she was, she was uh, about eight years old or so, seven, eight, and so it was about the same time this happened to me at Sunday school when she heard the message of the gospel, uh, Jesus died on the cross, raised from the dead. She prayed and said, Lord, if you did that for me, if you mm -hmm. died for me, mm -hmm. I want to do whatever you want me to do and go wherever you want me to go. And we both had that same testimony, and many years later, wow. uh, the Lord brought us together, and uh, we, you know, we were we were married, and uh, the Lord has taken us to all sorts of different places, and uh, we've done lots of different it, things.